Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. I do have to apologize before we get things underway to Super Gamer Victor because I accidentally ended your flight. This isn't this is on the other side of the planet. Um yeah, you're not here anymore. I went to go and test fraps and I accidentally ended your flight. So what I'm going to do is name the next aircraft that I build after you. All right? So I hope you can forgive me for uh ending that aircraft's flight. Well, it was kind of beat up anyway, so I mean, you'll have a new and improved better one. It'll be brand new. All right, so sorry again, and uh, let's continue on with this video. Instead of uh, flying around on Kerbin, we are actually going to use a rocket this time. We are going to launch a satellite, and the satellite is going to help us pinpoint where another apparently secret base is... Uh, has been constructed. So to find this other Kerbal space program, we're gonna launch a satellite. It's uh, a pretty unique satellite. It can spot things that um, aren't meant to be seen. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And it's standard, you know, couple stage rocket. It's got a bunch of different stages in here, but I mean those all relatively simple. Okay, so we're gonna just Go ahead and launch this thing. Alright, so while we're on curb, I just want to show you one of the, you know, I, why I put all these uh, different odds and ends on the top here. And that's just to make it look cool when it's in orbit. Just like that. It just, I don't know, just for aesthetics for that, that reason. So let's retract all of those back in. Um, I'm going to keep these Kerbals on the satellite, or else we wouldn't uh, be able to literally look back in the tracking station on it. So the only way we can do that is to leave a command module on here. So sadly, Chad Rim, Desfry, and Bobart are going to be taking a uh, a long trip on the Solar One satellite. Okay, and we are flying to the stars. That was a little bit bumpy. It still is a little bit. I don't know why we kind of swayed to the side there. I'm guessing because of this three stack, it wants to go in a certain direction, but we don't want it to go that way yet. All should still be good. Now we will decelerate here, but we're gonna pick it back up around like 60, I think it is. Now I added these, um, what are they? The, they're, they're meant for the aircraft. Uh, avionics package, I think it's called. Uh, to keep it a little bit sturdier, because as you saw, we did kind of sway to, I don't know what you would call that. I forget, we swayed to a direction that we shouldn't have been. So I added them to hopefully stabilize the flight a little bit more. And we are accelerating again. Okay. So it's time to lose the big heavy stack. And now we're going to go to 270. I'm so used to the apoapsis being on this side because I'm going in the other direction, but nope, we're going to do it the other way. Alright, so I just shut it down right now because I want to catch up to the apoapsis because this is a good orbiting uh, distance away from the uh, curbin, so we're just going to get up there now. Okay, and about now I want to fire up the engines. Alright, we're going to drop this. And go with the little one, the little tank. Now this little tank, um, and engine, actually. The engine, I've, I've never used this engine. Uh, they designed it to 
basically help you land, and basically stuff for in-orbit, you know, movement, which is okay. I'm using it for the purpose of, you know, completing this orbit right here. Yeah, no, it's a cool little engine. It's not that heavy, which is why I'm using it here. So we could have gotten the distance that we needed. And, um, okay, so we're coming out on this side. 81, 50, 60. Oh, we're going to go a little bit more, but I'm going to straighten this out and wait till I get up to the apoapis a little bit more. We want this to be relatively, I don't know, close to the same thing. And when you're closer to the apoapsis, the um, the easier it is to s straighten out the orbit and make it all pretty. All right, and not to leave any space junk, this is our stage that was right before this. It's actually not in orbit, and it's falling back down to Earth. So that way, the only thing that we'll see up in orbit right here is going to be this little uh, command module, which is cool. Because the last test that I did had junk. I go a little bit more. About when it says T minus 15 seconds, then we'll fire it up again. Alright, fire it back up. Good. It's at 86, that's at 84. So it's about 2,000 difference. That's plenty. That's, that's perfect. Okay, so now we've got our little satellite up in space. So the only thing to do... Chad room, you could stop freaking out. You've made it. You're in orbit. Uh, yeah, the only thing really to do is to open up the satellite and have it start looking. So, there we go. Our satellite is now in orbit. Fantastic. We will find you, secret Kerbal Space Center. We will find you. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.